tonight, game 11 of the 2015 season finds the Fighting Irish in Boston, Mass to meet the Boston College Eagles. A lot of excitement there about this particular football game. It's a venue described as the essence of baseball welcomes in a program considered the soul of college football. We take our football team on the road, that we take it to anywhere in the country, and we represent the greatest university in the world. A good night to run the ball, but that's hard to do against Boston College. Oh, no doubt. Uh, Boston College, the number one rush defense in the country, also number one total defense. They are very stingy defense, have real good players. It's a great atmosphere for college football. Let's carry that pride tonight onto this field, and let's play for Notre Dame. Let's play for each other, and let's play for Our Lady. Our Lady, Queen of Victory. Queen of Victory. Let's go. Woo! Boston College wins the toss and defers, so Notre Dame will have the ball at Fenway Park. Here is a handoff, and Notre Dame is on the run inside the 30. And the Notre Dame ball carrier, Procise, is knocked out of bounds. Great fake by Kaiser. He throws to the end zone. Might have been picked off. It was Boston College makes an end zone interception. The, the interception was careless. I mean, we try to force on first down. So that's crazy. Throw that thing away. It's second and 10. That's what, all you got to remember. It's first down. If it's not there, we'll take zero. Just across the 30. And Kaiser going deep downfield. And another nice catch there by Carlisle. Now on the field for Notre Dame is the freshman place kicker, Justin Yoon. The kick is up right down the middle. And they take a 3-0 lead on Boston College. <laughs> Your number's going to be called again. You got ready. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Fadul takes a look and he's hit, knocked down, sacked. Sheldon Day playing great football. They're ready to punt again now. They might try a gamble before long. As we go, it's a fake and up front, short of the first down. Now the ball's loose, but it was Matthias Farley making the tackle. And right now, Notre Dame tries again with a 3 0 lead. It had so many chances. Here's a throw to the near side, and Notre Dame takes it in. Amir Carlisle. Touchdown, Notre Dame. So Notre Dame goes to the locker room with a 10-point lead that might have been a 30-point lead had they not turned the ball over four times. You'll be fine. You're smart enough to know if you stay with those keys, you'll be fine. That's all you got to do. You don't have to do anything fancy. Everybody knows what's at stake here, all right? Two quarters, sell out for Notre Dame. Let's go finish this off. And you just wonder if they can stop this uh, Boston College stripping the ball, intercepting the ball onslaught. Steps up, pressured, throwing it downfield, just heaving it Brown's way. And Brown came up with it. Boston College gives up yards, but they're so hard to get it in the end zone on. Third and goal from the five yard line for Notre Dame. Kaiser's gonna throw. Kaiser cocks his arm, dumps it over the middle. Intercepted by Boston College. Boston College survives another one. I mean, if you don't like it, you know, go to, let's, let's kick the field goal and let's get up. You know the kind of game this is. We get to 13-3, we're in good shape, right? Deshaun, all right, hey, not, a, not an easy situation there, okay? Let's, you know what I mean? It's not an easy situation to be in, I get it. It's third down and one, looks the, the, like. The thing, obviously, I mean, you're doing some really, really good things. So you can't let this, you can't think about, you know, what, what's happened at this point. Just, uh, you know, it's a live and learn situation. Let's go, let's go attack this next draft. All right, man. It's on me, it's on me. I'm yelling because I'm mad. I'm not mad at y'all, I'm yelling because I'm mad at myself. Gotta be ready, it's coming back. They're ripping out everything. Hey, they're ripping out every ball. So be ready, we're gonna come back to that same play. You gotta catch that, you're gone. They're ripping at everything, secure the ball. Third down and nine now. They come with four, Kaiser has some time, takes a look, throws, he makes a connection, wide open receiver, up the middle of the field, weaving and diving and looking for a place to go, and down to the 21 yard line is Will Fuller, who's been quiet up till now. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Notre Dame, uh, they've, you wonder what they're thinking coming out of the huddle, having turned it over 
time after time, five times in this game against Boston College, all down at this end. Here's a lob ball to the end zone. Notre Dame comes down with it. And what a catch by Chris Brown. John Johnson was all over him. And Chris Brown just takes it away. Go. Got it, baby. Oh, Hell of a play. Hell of a play, Breezy. That's a big time play, man. That's a big time play. The long field to go. Smith, the quarterback. He keeps it. Jeff Smith breaks into open field, and Jeff Smith's going to go the distance, running right through the Notre Dame defense on the greatest play of the Boston College season times 10. Kaiser, though, going down deep. That one looks pretty good, but it's dropped. That probably wasn't his best game, uh, and he probably would tell you that. But, you know, Will's carried us all year. So uh, I think our receiving core would tell you, hey, look, it was time for somebody else to come up and make some plays, and it was great that our seniors stepped up for him. Jeff, keep playing. I expect better than that when you come on. You know that, baby. You know that. You know that because I love you, dog. You are balling. You're the best receiver I know. You're the best receiver in the country. First and goal, Boston College, a minute to play. BC down by 10. Here's a rush. Throw over the middle. The ball is caught. Touchdown, BC. It's now a 19 to 16 game as Boston College goes 86 yards on nine plays. Right now, they've got to bring that hands team out. You fully expect the onside kick to come. Get in! Hey, follow me on two, one, two! But BC will try the onside kick now as Notre Dame has skill position players on the field. Here is the onside kick try. That's Matthias Farley who wasted no time Matthias Farley was very alert, attacked the ball, and a nice recovery. So Notre Dame makes it a perfect 7-0 in the Shamrock Series. And the hours go to 10-1 on the season. Final score, Notre Dame 19, Boston College 16. When it's hard, it's not easy. And what we should be most proud of is that we're at 10 wins. Congratulations to everybody in this room. We're going to be humbled by what happened and we're gonna get better from it. Because we got one more shot. One more shot. And we put ourselves in that position. You put yourself in that position. So enjoy, because it's hard to win football games. I want to point out a couple of seniors that stepped up big for us. Chris Brown stepped up big for us. Also, Amir Carlisle stepped up. And he is our specialist at recovering onside kicks. He also stopped the fake, down the ball inside the five yard line. And he's a hell of a teammate, Matthias Farley, right now. I would be worried about some guys who aren't diligent and who aren't conscientious, aren't committed, and it would just kind of go through, you know what I mean, pass through and then forget about it. But you, you will take all that. Take all that knowledge that you had today and be better from it. And it'll be the best thing today, will be the best thing that's ever happened. And he learned a lot today. He was humbled a little bit today. I think it's gonna be really good for him. Some may never benefit from a game like this. This will do great things for him, and, and he will benefit greatly from it. Uh, there's gonna be an opportunity for us to really go prove ourselves next weekend, and um, we're, we're gonna prepare as if it's the last game of the year as it actually is. I definitely think you know that, that unity really helped us kind of you know, get through the, the tough patches of tonight's game. Well, the only reason we, we won that game is because we stuck together. We, we let anything turn against us, we ain't turn against nobody because we know that's our brother. Everybody on this team, we brothers, and we're going to stick together no matter the result.